Hi everyone and very good morning to all of you. So new news hai and I am very sure that you all are aware of it. The news is that the NB has actually announced the NEET PG on 5th March 2023. Nothing new out of it but I want all of you to watch this video carefully. Let's understand what we can do from here onwards and make our planning in a way so that we can utilize the time remaining to get a better result than we can expect without planning it. Okay, so I want you to watch the complete video focus on the things, relax and let me know how more I can help you. Okay, let's start this. So guys, dekho, <clears throat> this is a notification that actually came today morning in the newspapers. It's authentic information as it looks like because this also is advertisement from the NB website. It talks about the ability of bulletin to be available from today onwards. That is the 5th of January. The online submission date is uh, till 25th January 2023 and the date of exam is as expected on the 5th of March 23. Okay. And result declaration would be 31st March. So, sir, uh, nothing has come out of it. Yes, I have checked it and I don't think anything has come out in the NB website as of now. But I'm very sure by the evening time, uh, because they usually upload this all in the evening time. So, around 5 to 6 p.m., before 5 to 6 p.m., they should be uploading the same thing in their own website. Now, sir, what to do out of it? I want all of you to ensure that you, you know, the basic thing you should do is self belief. Now, what is it? A lot of uh, because we also knew that the exam will happen on 5th of March, there's nothing new there. But still there is some jitterness in our mind that we all are getting anxious and that's very okay, you know. Whenever exam date comes, it's very okay to get anxious. So don't get bothered about that. I'm very anxious of what will happen, how It's a very normal phenomenon. What you must do is right now is just focus on all the 19 subjects in total and let you yourself know where you stand right now. Secondly, stay away from all the negative people who will now try to enforce the need PG is postponed or you postpone your own preparation in whatever way you are. Just stay out of that. This exam is one exam which happens only once a year. We cannot afford to waste a single hour, a single minute, a single day from here onwards. We should plan it and anything which is out of our plan will also make ensure that we put that unplanned thing in our own planning to use the best of our time. So I want all of you to self-believe that I'm telling you, anyone who's scoring in 90 or 100 in GT right now can still pick up from here and go to 140. How to do that? Was the video complete? I'll tell you whatever and however you can do that. So first thing all of I want all of you is self-belief in yourself. No one, no one can break their rank as of for now 2023. May, uh, and if you ask a topper also, Ki kya rank 1 a jayega, rank 20 a jayega, he cannot say that. So if he cannot say that, how can you say that you, you cannot get a rank here? Everyone can get rank. I've seen students getting 50,000 rank last year in NEET PG, getting 5,000 rank in this year's NEET PG. And similarly, the exam who never got an exam, 1 lakh and above uh, results, have got a rank within 5,000 this year also. So I want all of you to focus on yourself, self-belief, and stay away from all the negative things and distractions, anything happening in your life. Second, consistency. Guys, they go. From here onwards, just promise yourself, just put in front of a study table that you will read at least, at least 10 plus hours a day. 10 plus hours a day is must to go do now, right now, till the main exam. So please do this thing. 10 plus hour is must to do. Now, this 10 plus hour, mein kya karna hai? this should be consistent. It should not be ki today you have read suppose 5 to 6 hours and tomorrow reading for 15 hours. Next year, you're not reading at all. Asa nahi karna hai. Just focus on every day when you sit on a study table. Tell yourself what you want to read in these two hours. So break your entire day scheduling into the hour schedule and the hour schedule into what next one hour. As it. Abhi se leke, jase it is that supposed to 10 o'clock right now. So 10 to 11, what you will read. 11 to 12, what you read. Just don't focus on the entire day. And sit on a study table with a cup of water and, um, and maybe you want a tea or something. Just put everything there and remove everything around yourself. Just make your study table entirely clear so that you can focus on what you want to do in the next one hour as such. Okay? Okay, study skills. You have to plan this thing. You know, I'm very sure most of you might have seen those planning I shared with you. I'll just again share with you right now also. So guys, if you look at this one, so basically I had planned the entire thing in the same way and my reading in the first schedule, I, I hope that you might have watched my video here. I have put 2023 scheduling, I have put the number of days for revision and those who are following this schedule will be very much glad now that yes, they are able to finish the first reading till the 5th of January, that is a single day today. So they, I they predicted this right from the first and one month back only that this one you want to finish it. FMT is tomorrow and then you have two catch up days. So if you're following me, 
uh, for the last few months i'm very sure you are in a very very good uh, position right now and now after 9th of january giving a gt you can focus on the revision number two and that is where we give almost half the number of days till the next time so focus on revision number two give regular gt after every seven to ten days whatever you feel comfortable and then you keep on revising this while you finish the revision number two on the 2nd of february putting exactly half the number of days you put in the previous reading from 2nd of february that is the 3rd of february you start the revision and you finish and end up to the 4th of february to give the neat pg on 5th march i should this should be march actually i uh, just a typo mistake that time also it happened so this is the march 23 so guys look, if you have following this schedule i think you have nothing to worry you are really in a very well placed position right now okay so now I want all of you to just please ensure that you basically try to, you know, focus on your planning. You try to revise that. And then when you plan something, you, it must be in front of a study table that I want to read this today. And the subject should be divided into topics also. It will take some time, but I'm telling you, it will allow you to sit on a study table and not make your mind, mind wander what I must read because there's so many things to read upon. So this planning is more important because execution is the second thing. What you must focus on is a regular planning of the daily subject subtopic also that that you know that that micro dissection should be done for every topic that you want to read today now most most important thing is gt they go let's assume two two of the friends you two of the friends are trying to run a race okay one of them has been practicing for one or two months for the race and you have suddenly come come there and start running up well who has more probability of winning the race obviously the person who has been practicing for the last two months is not that he's better than you is that because he's practicing, he has made himself more uh, prepared for that race and therefore it's more probable that he wins the race. GT is the same thing. I understand because we don't get a score of 115 GT, it doesn't allow our mind to come in that positive mindset to appear for the GT. But I'm telling you one thing, because GT is all about preparation. If you don't prepare this thing, then on 5th of March, if you give your first or second GT, it will not work out like that. So. I'm seeing a lot of students is start giving a GT in a way that they are appearing for the first 1 to 60 question in a very, very good way. Then from 60 to 100, they are just reading the question. And I'm telling you, this might happen to you, 100 to 200 questions, they are not reading at all. And finally, they're getting a score of 60 to 80 above 200. Is this happening to you? So I'm telling you one thing, the question number one, to question number 200 this question should be read in the same i'm telling you in the same way you have read these questions at all so 200 question is also as important as the question number one you must read every question look at the options because that is what you're going in the doing the main exam so you must practice yourself to read the entire question okay now how to review a gt that's also a very important point here i'll just tell you in short what happens is when you give a gt just keep a piece of paper with you and in that piece of paper suppose you have question you are appearing with a gt and question number 10 was confusion just write question number 10 then question number 15 may you had a confusion between two options one of this could be suppose a uh, graph a and graph b so graph a versus b which is write it here so while giving a GT, just mention these small, small, single, single points, just words, I can say letters also will be doing and that should be written while giving a GT. After finishing of the GT, first look at these questions only because that is what you are getting confused in your time when you are getting a GT. So I think this is one very, very important thing you must all focus upon because after giving a GT, if you take three days for reviewing a GT, it won't work right now. But if you don't review on the same day, you will never get a time to review it again. So I think you must, must focus on reviewing a GT also in, a, in this way that you must be able to do that, okay? Now, revision. So this will hold a key in you getting a rank or not getting a rank. Anything that you read and don't revise before the main exam is as good as not read at all. Big point, but that's true. So you have to read and you have to revise also. Now, the revision Revision ka ye nahi hota that you have to read the entire subject as such. Suppose you are re revising ENT today, it doesn't mean you have to revise every word and letter of the ENT uh, notes. That's not the way you have revised it. You must focus upon those topics that you are forgetting it many a times. Or you want to revise those things which are very, very high yielding. 
the high yielding topic should be revised first or those topics that you are marking right now should be revised only and leave everything else your mind knows the shop conscious mind knows what to read and what and what you remember but what you forget you keep on forgetting this again and again so when you revise don't revise the entire uh, subject because that will not be never be able to complete it and therefore the revision will actually fail so i want you all to focus on those topic or sub topic actually which is confusing you the most which you are forgetting the most and you i am very sure you might have marked this topic while you're reading with the previous one okay so when you take out a copy of suppose ent or opta you must know what exactly to read it there okay so focus on that now write resources guys do not change your resource right now it's better you read it again and again it's better you re read this again and again rather than putting up a new question or new uh, resource of reading or solving a question bank because that is one thing students do and they're not able to recollect that and entire thing goes in vain so jo bhi aapne padha hai usko hi padhna hai don't take a new resource what you have read till now is the one you must read it again and again rather than taking new resources and confusing yourself completely okay so just focus on what you read and forget what others are showing you yaar ye bada acha video hai ye bada acha video ye naya course aaya hai ye acha hai don't do that focus on what you have read revise it again and again because every faculty is very good and they might have taught to the best of their potential which is actually in a best standard okay now high yielding topics so i i have prepared a high yielding topic uh, for neat pg 2022 and most of the question of 23 also came on the same thing okay so i'm very sure this will be very very useful that pdf is uploaded in my telegram group i have uploaded it just right now also just focus on that and ensure that you go through all those topics in the next few days remaining do not leave any of those topics guys if you can do these things small small things are there but if you can focus on these thing i'm very sure your result will be very good let me know how else i can help you because consistency is the key and do not forget that stay away from negative people revise your schedules again and again give regular gts and just don't take any new things right now i hope that you will do the best best of wishes and look for the nb website also today in the evening i'm very sure they'll upload the bulletin very soon take care